back to me, you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Mm-hmm. So maybe if you asked me yesterday, I would handle this differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not, that's not gonna happen. So even if you're asking, even, even if you're asking, cause I do. I'm going to get to know you a little bit more with this episode. We're going to come for them. We're going to come for them. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> Hi, um, it's a new day. You saw me making my bed in the morning. And uh, just a quick one. I'm on my way out. It is half past 10, so I'm on my way out to get my toes done and my feet done, you know, scrubbed and all of that. I haven't had that done in over two months i think um even though my toe situation still looks pretty much all right it's just that overgrown okay my nails have grown so i'm just gonna do the whole thing get them scrubbed you guys have seen some of that kind of footage um on which one on one of my vlogs so i'm gonna go do that now so i don't really need to film that bit but I'll, I'll film a little bit i'll see what i can film um there's a um, take a lot delivery that just came in this morning around nine o'clock and i'll show you that when i get back today's friday i'm not in the office today i'm not required to be in the office today so i'm just gonna steal some time and actually go get my nails done uh, i've got my phone for everything just in case i need to be contacted by email or produce something so i've got my phone and i changed my bag i've been using the same bag the same aldo bag uh for a couple of months now and i wanted to take a break from it the only reason why i was using it is because there's with covid i wanted to reduce the size of my bags and not just carry a bunch of stuff and all of that um and it, it worked out pretty well for me but now today i do i've taken my diary with me and a book to read and all of that maybe i might sit somewhere and read after i get my nails done and whatever it's kind of like a self pamper me kind of day indulge myself in a nice lunch and all of that so i changed my bag to accommodate all those things and i don't know if you remember this baby oh my god i haven't used it in probably over two years i haven't used this this is a charles and keith backpack and it stocks a whole bunch of stuff chat like it's so cute it's so cute so um that's the bag i'm gonna carry today i'm gonna put my glasses on because good sis can't see okay good sis can't see um so i'm gonna get all that stuff done pay my bills um there's a couple of things i need to pay uh buy a couple of things cosmetics wise like isn't this October? you know isn't this October? i mean uh <laughs> buy all of that uh and uh gonna come home and electricity just run errands you know what i'm saying that's exactly what i'm gonna do today hopefully my work day doesn't is not wild or ridiculous i'm really hoping that they don't contact me for the rest of the day <laughs> That's what I'm praying about, okay? I need to put my sneakers on. I need to pour myself a bottle. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. I need to pour myself... Um, sorry about that. I need to pour myself some water. I need to get my brows threaded as well. So there's a couple of things that I need to do today. And that is what we're going to do today. Okay? For something new, oh. yeah. So I did my nails again this time around it's just two lines here and two lines on the thumbs and I love them I always do I always do okay let's get the fuck out of here because I don't really like what I got so I change it bit by bit it's not ungrateful just being helpful for me because we gotta go our own way gotta gotta go our own way 
not a good state. You gotta, gotta go our own way. Cause I do what I do. And it's time for something new, yeah. Gotta know when I let go. Gotta know when I let go. Gotta know when I let go. Sometimes healing up can make you grow. Can make you grow. Can make you grow. I'm back. It is one o'clock. I left here at about 11. It is 10 to 2 now. I'm back. I got my toes done, got my feet scrubbed, and wonderful things happened there. I got my brows threaded by Kanye. I insert the footage here. And then after that, I just went picking up some things that I am short of. I'm not really buying much in terms of groceries this week, except my this month, except my uh, monthly produce. So it's fine just sanitizing my hands real quick um so i got a few things that i'm gonna show you now and then i'm gonna put them away because i haven't eaten so i'm really really actually quite hungry and i want to eat now um i've bought alcohol that time i haven't bought meat for the house marajuala <laughs> Alcohol is no. Yeah, no, 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 no. But it's Friday. It's Friday, and good sis needed her some alcohol. And I also bought myself chips. You know how this is gonna go down. Uh, it's Friday today. My partner, I think, might be coming over later tonight. I'm not sure. Uh, whether he is or if he's not or whatever, but we, we enjoy those together. It's a thing. And um, wonderful, I got condoms, condoms, because anybody trying to make a child, anybody trying to make a baby, okay? Um, and how I always get my hair to look so nice when I'm out and about and the curls to pop and for it to just look like wavy, curly, juicy, beautiful, I use this. So I had to pick it up because I'm out and this lost me maybe three months four months but given that my hair is growing i use a lot more of it now so this is the Cantu coconut curling cream really love using this when my hair is wet just after i step out of the shower and then i just and then i just and then i just and then i just gel it up on the sides and then i look great uh on the days where i don't want to use this i will typically then use this just to keep my hair moisturized this is afro food by uh afro moisturizing butter by dark and lovely i've used this for a while since their since this range was out i've been using it so this one is one that i use every two days or so just to moisturize my hair sometimes on the days when i'm not moisturizing my hair with the afro food i'm just wetting my hair just to keep it moisturized you know what i'm saying uh i bought one of the johnson's micellar wipes i do that all the time picked up i really wanna i really enjoyed using this nature's nourishment uh witch hazel and rose water uh mist i suppose Bare face and body mist it smells nice too Ah. gonna use it after i come out of the bath or the showers in the mornings or the evenings every time i wash my face basically uh also picked up the turmeric fiery shots from sir juice really really love these and i was feeling a bit fluish uh, in the last couple of days so i i was just like let me let me just let me just just okay um then i this was a recommendation by uh pemelo by p and p she's got a channel on youtube and it's called as told by pemelo and um 
she recommended this i don't know if it was in her snaps or it it's a juicy bomb shiny lip gloss by essence and when i walked into Discam, i remembered it and i was just like let's test it out because my lips are dry as hell right now so we're going to test it out it's only 20 bucks so let's let's see oh 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 it smells amazing mm. doesn't leave any any stickies I don't like glosses. I pre I pre I don't appreciate glosses that are sticky. I don't. No, but this one's pretty nice. Love it. Love it for us. And then I picked up some lashes. Two to be exact. Which is fine for now. Because I was just like, don't go crazy, bro. You haven't paid your bills yet. Don't go crazy. I still need to pay my bills. And then nostalgia hit me and I had to pick these up. It's terrible, I know, but I really like these, like as a just a sugar, you know, thing and to have them in the house. Easter's coming, so there's Easter marshmallow things everywhere and Easter eggs and whatever. And I really, it was a nostalgic moment, okay, and I had to buy them. I actually don't even know how much it costs. 60 bucks, 60 bucks, so it's not that bad. And I'll keep them in the house for when my sister comes over. How many? 36. There's 36. I love these. I don't know. These remind me of high school, primary school, the disco, the party. They would always add it in party packs as well. That's why I like it. That's why I like it. Okay. The condoms as well. Fine. And then from Typo. I picked up another one of these now you guys know that I have the one that I made my lemon water in this morning but that one is kind of getting faded and it's scratched up and whatever and these were on sale for 100 bucks and these were going for like 250 when they first came out so they were on sale for 100 bucks and I was just like uh, yeah why not I know somebody who's not gonna be happy that I got this but he must just chill hey so I picked this one up could I be any more thirsty there, so I picked this one up. It's pretty, it's pretty, isn't it? It's really nice. So, so. Whoa, that's good. That's good. And then another thing that I picked up, which I found really lovely, uh, is a journal for morning intentions and evening reflections. Now, if there's one thing that I talked about in a podcast episode a couple of weeks ago was to start each day with gratitude or to to be grateful each and every single day so when i saw this i thought this would be nice as something that sits next to my bedside table and it's called rise and rest so first thing in the morning and when you go to bed at night and it's just you know it's got am pm you know it's got little there you go. It's got AM and PM and it's got little intentions, questions that you can, um, just things that you can write down, you know. So on Monday it says, a fresh week, what feeling do I want to channel today? And then Tuesday it says, what challenge can I ch tackle today? On Wednesday it says, uh, how can I bring light to someone else's day? So one thing for each day and then in the evening, list three awesome things that happened to me today. What made my day better? What's going to make tomorrow amazing? I love that. I love that. I think it's great for setting intention but also at the same time being grateful for just reminding you to be grateful each and every single day. Uh, pushing yourself, challenging yourself being more intentional about your life and that's something that I speak about on my podcast so if you're not following my podcast or downloading episodes from my podcast or just I don't know then what you're doing with your life because wow um, uh, these are coming out of the typo bag but I am currently reading this you guys know this I haven't even started so from the last vlog i haven't even started but i promise to start today i don't have any plans today and it is currently two o'clock it was bad because of my screen time has increased i was going crazy over vip which is this korean um what's this this korean drama series thing k drama series that's happening i watched that and i finished it this week so i am not going to start any i'll binge watch any series until I finish this book. So that's my plan. That's what I plan on doing. So 
That's what we're gonna do. And then be the so you know. And then a book that I picked up for one seventy nine at Bargain Books is one that has been doing the rounds on TikTok, I think, and on BookTube or something. But I picked it up for one seventy nine, which is a lot less than I would typically spend when I'm at a bargain box so I'm happy I picked this one up this is we were liars by E Lockhart and it says the Guardian said this is a cunning clever absolutely gripping novel full of surprises which sent me straight back to its first page as soon as I reached the last we are liars we are beautiful and privileged. We are cracked and broken. A tale of love and romance. A tale of tragedy. Which are lies, which is truth, you decide. I feel like maybe I should start with this. It sounds really good. It sounds really good. Oh, and then I, just to support the charity, I bought some fizzy uh, plain water. I really like the can. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful can. Cool, right? Ooh. Yeah, it's just plain sparkling water, so it's all right. I haven't eaten at all today. I need to eat. I need to eat. Um, and then from the barrel store, because I, I, I'm, I'm, I've got a problem that I haven't bought meat, but I've bought alcohol. I bought six of Venice. There's four in here because I opened up. The other two are in the freezer because I'm going to dive into them after I eat, okay? So I bought six Savannas, which is not typically that mm, I will buy. Um, number 10 gin, because I we just can't seem to find the aviation gin anyway. We can't find it anyway, anyway. And then my partner and I drink uh, whiskey. And our favorite whiskey, whether we're having it neat or on the rocks, is Talisker. Talisker is great. We don't, we never drink Talisker without one another. We drink it all the time. Or when we're out and about and we'll buy it for each other and all of that so because he's coming later on got a metalliska it's on special at checkers it's just beautiful and the bottle is beautiful it's just a beautiful bottle of whiskey okay and we typically have it on the rocks or meat and it's really good it's really really good and it's on special typically it's around 900 bucks but it's on special for 660 which is wild to me so really excited to drink this later on with him tonight we've kind of made a made it a pack that we never open a bottle of telescope without the other one present so even if i wanted to have it now I can't. I can't. This has become a little bit of a haul now, hasn't it? Uh, lastly, from Take A Lot, is something you guys have probably seen before. Oh, man. I hate opening this up because it's just so dangerous. All right. So these are things that you've seen before. I typically buy them off of Take A Lot. I don't go into the store anymore. I couldn't be bothered. Uh, but there is one new product. So there is, I've got two things from Skin Functional. Um, I was out of my hyalur hyalur hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic, hyaluronic, <laughs> hyaluronic acid. I was out of that by Skin Functional. So I picked that up because my skin loves it. My skin drinks that stuff up. And something else that i wanted to try out for blemish correcting and hyperpigmentation was the niacinamide 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 okay the 10 percent niacinamide and basically it looks like that that it's the gal they both look the same i'll show them to you a little bit later on today because it's quite bright out so you're not going to be able to see. And then, of course, I never change what I use on my face. Very rare. Uh, the facial hydrating oil from Skin Creamery. The only new thing is this. I got myself a, I got myself a laptop stand, which I'm so, so happy that I finally picked up because I like to rest my arms up slightly further when I am, um, uh, what is this? 
when I'm typing. So at least if I can elevate the laptop a little bit and then uh, lift my arms, my arms a little bit more, that should be able to help. So picked up the stand, comes in this nice bag. We love it for us. I don't know, it got great reviews, but it's quite cheap, but it got really great re reviews. So that's the stand, that's what it looks like. I do not plan on, oh, 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 simple, simple enough. We love that for us. I picked up some croissants from Fornos. So I'm going to have that with a cup of coffee because I am quite, actually, let me just have this while I'm here. I am quite hungry. It is 10 past two. So I'm going to have that with a cup of coffee and then the day will continue. I don't know what I'm going to do today, but hey, hey, ho, hey, 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 hey. Okay, <laughs> today is not that day, okay? Today is not that day. Hey, everybody, uh, it is Monday afternoon, and I just got back from work, and today is the day where we have... Let me just take this out, okay? Today is the day where the clip of Will Smith uh, slapping Chris Rock on national television, international television, uh, went viral and just everybody's talking about it, including myself. And to be honest, I'm really mad about it. That's silly. Um, and I don't want to lie, I'm one of the people that is very upset at what I saw, but not all only that but very upset at just what the world has really come to i've got so many opinions on this and we're gonna talk about it okay uh because the whole idea of this channel and all the content that i produce is that we also talk about things that are happening in the world what's trending what's not trending all of that but i really wanted to get into this particular one because i just feel like wow okay so basically i don't support what both of the actors did i don't support it well one of which is also a comedian so i don't support it at all when i saw the video for the first time i saw many different things and i read many different things from the video then i kept quiet and i thought about it and i was driving to work and i thought about it 
and I got to work and I thought about it some more and then I started tweeting about it <laughs> because that's Radzo. <laughs> Please follow me on Twitter. Um, let's start with Chris Rock, okay? Chris Rock is great and he's a great comedian and he's really good at what he does and I feel like the world has really been gifted with somebody like Chris Rock in terms of the co comedy sphere of things. However, however, I feel like we need to start talking about where does one cross the line as a comedian in terms of what they decide to make jokes on and what's inappropriate and what's not appropriate. Uh, first and foremost, this wasn't just any club, uh, you know, uh, 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 what's this comedy club kind of, you know, video or whatever. This was at the Oscars. So one thing we need to consider about this is that I feel like let's consider what is appropriate for what setting. What kind of joke is appropriate for what setting? And is something like this to be classified as a joke? What really upset me is the fact that before Chris Rock said what he said, when he truly, according to me, insulted Jada Pinkett Smith, right? Before he said what he said, he made a prior joke to Javier Bardem and his wife, Penelope. And the joke was vastly different to the joke that he decided to throw out at Jada and Will Smith. I do not appreciate the fact that with Javier and Penelope, Penelope, it was simple. Like, hey man, Javier, just make sure that if your wife doesn't get this Oscar that you don't get it too because then you're gonna have some problems and whatever, whatever, right? Fine, got that and I laughed along with it. The second, then he went off to Will Smith and his wife. And when he started talking and saying this really inappropriate joke, I, said, I thought and I said to myself, it's crazy, crazy how performative black men, and I'm saying this and I mean it, it's crazy how performative black men have been in spaces where there are non-black people when it comes to criticizing, insulting, literally just going forth and saying negative things about black women. Now we need to talk about how this is a thing. There's nothing new here. We already know just as women, but more so even as black women, we live in a society that just does not rate us. And we live in a society that doesn't rate us as black women and they don't care for, oh, let's not offend, let's not do this. And it's more especially the black men who say things like this in settings like this that shows this performative action to try and impress all in the name of a joke. Now, I'm, I'm not only talking about just uh, Chris Rock being the comedian that he is just generally even with m black men who are not comedians the constant need to want to insult or to ridicule or to you know say negative things at the expense of their black women is overwhelming it's actually so shocking as disgusting I really really I, I was just like wow bro and in spaces where they are non-black people who are now going to sit and laugh at this. So are we basically saying that it's okay to have black women the butt of every black man's or every other black man's joke or to be the, to, 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 I just, yo, fuck, I, I just don't understand. And I feel like it is being very considerate. One can come and say that, oh no, but maybe Chris Rock didn't know that Jada was suffering from alopecia and this and this. Really? Really? I feel like that is nonsense. And what upset me the most is that Chris Rock is somebody who did a whole entire documentary on good hair. And now he's going to come here and, uh, what is it called? Good hair or hair or whatever. And now he's going to come here and make a joke at the expense of a black woman who does not have hair. Now, or has hair struggles, right? For me, I found this very crass. I found it very tacky. I do not think that it's a joke. I think it is a sincere insult to Jada and to her husband. Because let's be honest, everybody's found 
the need to be very vocal about what's been happening in Jada and Will Smith's lives and all of this and yada yada yada, right? Everybody, we've, we, we, we've all been vocal about the August thing and we've all... Will Smith and his wife and his family have been catching a lot of L's, okay? Based on how they parent, based on how they run their relationship, their personal relationship, all of that. For you to then now come and make a joke at Jada's expense by saying that, you know, she should be part of the new G.I. Jane, what, 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 when you know, and I firmly believe that he knows that she has alopecia because they are friendly. I don't know if they're very good friends with Will Smith. I believe that they are because that's what's been said in news outlets and, 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 and social media and all of that. They, they're quite familiar with one another. Whether they're friends or not, I do not think that he wouldn't have known that she has alopecia. So that made me mad. Now I'm sitting here thinking, wow. Now, you're not only insulting a black woman, but now you're, you're insulting her on an international platform. Ugh. I have to take this call. Okay. Give me a second. So sorry about that. I had to take a call from Balisa really quickly. It was an urgent one. Otherwise, that's my point on the Chris Rock end of things. I feel like the, the, the joke, the joke was really just tasteless, baseless, really unnecessary. And it says a lot about the kind of joke that he did with the with the Bardems and the joke that he did with the Pinkett Smiths. And I find that that was just, oof, oof. It really, really rubbed me up the wrong way. Um, and then with Will Smith, uh, we don't condone violence with violence. I feel like that joke was very violent and meant to uh, was very attacky and uh very was truly inappropriate but what we're not going to condone is responding to violence with violence i feel like already as it is it's so difficult for black people to have platforms on things like the oscars or to be recognized as much as their white counterparts on things on uh, um uh, not things on on at events like the Oscars and all of that. So for Will to react the way that he did, I feel like just regresses and takes things back a little bit for black uh, people. But at the same time, um, I do say that it was uh, commendable for him to act. I don't appreciate the way in which he acted, how he acted, but it was commendable for him to act in protection and, um, you know, just being there for his wife and not tolerating nonsense being brought his wife's way, especially when it comes to that tactless, tactless, just terrible, terrible joke. Um, so we don't condone violence at all. I don't think, I think there could have been various other ways he could have dealt with it. But not, um, not like that. Not like that. He could have gotten a verbal ass whooping. He could have gotten, uh, I don't know. But either way, a, a, violence is abuse, whether... Uh, abu violence is violence, whether it comes in the form of emotional, verbal abuse, physical abuse, it doesn't really matter. I feel like um, what Chris Rock said to Jada was abusive. And I feel like how uh, Will Smith responded by uh, hitting him was also abusive. So it was a lot. It was a lot to, to, to see and witness so early in the morning. I felt like that was a lot to, to, to see early in the morning. But I felt also at the same time that, hey man, if you are going to run your mouth, be prepared to, you know, deal with the consequences that come uh, with that, you know, that come with running your mouth, especially to the wrong people and on, on the wrong platforms as well. Also, uh, my reading has suffered quite a lot. I think I am going into a little bit of a reading slump. I started reading the Thursday Murder Club and I stopped like 30 pages in sometime last week. Not because it's not great, uh, just because it's a bit of a chunky book. And uh, right now, with all that I have going on with work and podcasts and this, it's really, really hard to just find the time to read because a lot of the time when I do have free time, I'm tired and I want to rest. Um, and reading requires a little bit of focus as well. So that's been hard. So I switched out that book for... 
this one which is a shorter one but i've heard good things about that and it's only about 240 pages or something like that so i feel like it's not as daunting and overwhelming to get through and i feel like i can just maybe give myself this week to read this yeah that's pretty much it i don't know how great boring tragic sad i don't know this vlog is gonna be uh i don't know how long it's gonna be either but yeah it's monday afternoon just got back from work uh fair share of tired not so much not too crazy but i am a little bit tired and i do think i'm gonna read a little bit because it is still fairly early i'm gonna read a little bit it's crazy how i've got so many i just i sort of get my chance i would love to maybe put in some cooking content um to close out this vlog but i genuinely haven't brought meat yet uh, i don't feel like having mincemeat but it seems like mincemeat is the one thing that i'm gonna eat today because that's what i have in terms of red meat in my fridge i've got seafood which i don't want to have i had over the weekend i've got uh chicken which i don't feel like having at all and uh so i, I guess it's gonna be mincemeat i did not necessarily want to have it with pasta but there's only so much you can do with mincemeat <laughs> Talk is wiling. Okay. Um, so I wanted to show you what I'm currently watching on Netflix. Now, this is one of the big reasons why I haven't been reading because I've watch, been watching a lot of shows on Netflix. Um, and I understand why because I've just, I've been trying to get my mind off stuff and watching TV is great. So I wanted to show you what is on my list of what I'm currently watching. Also watch Sex, Love, Goop, which I think is wonderful. If you want to kind of, you know, get, get an idea, you know, about your sexual self and 
uh, keeping, you know, the spark and love alive in your relationship. Um, and it explores different types of relationship, like an old uh, relationships, like an older couple, uh, lesbian couple, you know, that kind of thing, which is really, really enjoyable. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, Animal is also great. The principles of pleasure is amazing. And this one is new. So it talks about, you know, how important uh, pleasure is and how seriously it should be taken, more especially for women. And it addresses things like toys and just wonderful things, okay, <laughs> um, in respect to pleasure and sexuality and sexual health and, um, you know, not feeling ashamed to talk about pleasure and masturbation and all of that kind of stuff. So that's also really good. Um, trending now, no. I also watched Bridgerton. I did watch Bridgerton uh, over the weekend, watched it, finished it. That was also really, really good. But we all know that Shonda can't do any wrong. <laughs> okay, Shonda is fantastic. She's phenomenal. We love her for oh, it. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry, whistle down. I'm also watching uh, VIP, which is another K drama, which is really good. Currently, right now, I'm watching 39, which is another K drama, which is really, really good. <laughs> really good uh love marriage and divorce oh also so so good it's in its third season highly recommend that one that one is by far my favorite uh k-drama bad vegan was sick so so good swindler type vibes this woman who was who just you know took new york city by storm because she opened up a restaurant where only raw food was being sold and no meat and you know of course vegan all of that and raw food and yeah a man came into her life and things went sour that's why i don't trust the man's baby um if it's for family is amazing hilarious it's one of my favorite ones as well i really enjoy it but i'm watching this one pretty slow i'm on season three now uh, my thing is that once I start watching something, I want to watch it and finish it. That's why I'm struggling really hard right now with uh, love, marriage, and divorce because there's a new episode each week. There's two new episodes or something like that each week, and you kind of have to, you know, wait. Uh, whereas when the whole season is there, like when I was watching season one, the whole season was there. I literally binge-watched it in like three days. So... I mean, it'd be like that sometimes. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I will touch base with you guys a little bit later once I make my food. I just wanted to show you guys what I am currently watching on Netflix. But I won't be watching Netflix for a while now because I really just need to read and get back onto my reading goals and all of that. Okay, talk to you later.